Well, the gig was uh, fantastic, and everybody. Uh, obviously, the, the weather was atrocious. <laughs> we knew it was going to be, uh, and uh, one of our songs is a kind of an ironic song, Scottish Rain. I said I would have to ask the audience if I were allowed to play it because, but they all, you know, I said, Do you want to hear a song about the weather? And they all, they all said yes. But every, everybody in the audience t tonight were heroes because uh, it rained all night and uh, yeah, they were there for all the bands. And at the end, obviously, when we came out and we watched uh, the bands as well, I watched. We watched the view, the view, and then we watched the mines, and it was great. So, thing is, even even when it's bad weather, if the music's good and the vibe is good, and I've been I've been myself at thousands of festivals, so so uh, it's just I love the music. So, well, the venue is fantastic, you know. Uh, the venue is fantastic. I know it's the first time they've done this, and. Uh, there's a couple of things you need to sort out, but basically the idea is really good. Whether they want to go ahead and, and do this again, uh, but we we really enjoyed ourselves and we would love to play it again. What we're going to do? Uh, I mean, I've written about three albums worth of, of songs for a new Silences album to get uh, some kind of finance to put it together. It doesn't take a lot. Nowadays, you know, because the recording possibilities are a lot easier nowadays. But but I need to get something uh, to put that together. Uh, that's one thing. I'm also involved in lots of projects in France. I'm in, I've got another band in France uh, that I play with, and a new but a new project, which is called, ironically enough, uh, the Celtic Social Club. It's not anything to do with Celtic Football Club, it's just because the French say Celtic, so it's called the Celtic Social Club, but it's fantastic, it's really good, it's kind of like all kind of Celtic music uh, mixed with reggae, funk, all kinds of uh, uh, great dance music, an enemy that uh, Celtic music is dance enemy, so it all goes together, and that's, quite an, that's a really interesting project. My main, obviously, the thing I want to do is to put, is to record a new Silences album. I spent a big part of the start of the year writing new songs, and I've got loads of great new songs that I want to record again. The way I write, I've always written. Uh, I have to say something. It, it could just be a love song, but even in the love song, you can twist the love song. It's like. Uh, a, a, a traditional love song, quite a lot, a, a lot of traditional tunes. When they were love songs, they were also had the political edge in them. Uh, Irish songs and Scottish songs, they always there was a twist in there. And I've always tried to do that when I write, when I sang, when I wrote Scottish Rain, I wrote it as a love song, and then I thought there's something missing from this. And in the end, it just came to me. It was radioactive rain. It was a rain. It fell on Scotland during Chernobyl, after Chernobyl. And that became, for me, that's what I want to do. It's a political statement because obviously I grew up listening to the protest songs of Dylan and, uh, you know, Leonard Cohen, you know, the way he writes. It, there's a lot of stuff in there. And when I write songs, I think the same way. I write for different... Uh, it's kind of like uh, you're looking for different angles on a subject to say something uh, to play with the words especially, you play with words you toss them around and they come down in another shape and you find something that also sings well has to sing well and then it falls in place and you go that's a song I've got, other, I've got lots of good new good ones but I just need to find the time and find uh, between all the projects I'm doing to actually do that when I started working with my family 
Ora, Ora, my daughter, uh, started in the group at 17. She sang on Wild Mountain Time. And then there was a place available for her to take as a, a singing harmonies. And I, I thought, she's 17, get her in, sing harmonies, why not? So she came in the band at that time. Uh, and she's in the band now. And that's 19 years ago. So, so uh, we have done loads of concerts in France, loads of concerts in Scotland, we continue to do concerts. And we're, we're, we're love to do, we love to play, like most uh, musicians. And it's, it's an unusual kind of set up because my, my youngest son is in the band now playing the lead guitar. And my, old, my other son, he played guitar before, before he got a record deal in Germany with Universal. Uh, my, my son James, he played guitar for the band. It's a family of musicians. We're very, uh, what can I say, we come from Irish descent. And O'Neill, obviously, it's Irish descent. Music, music is in our blood. And it just transmits. Perhaps you transmit talent. I do think you do. But you also transmit the love of music. And it's the love of music that's the most important thing. Obviously. I love the Rolling Stones and I love the Beatles. And when I saw them, I want, I want to be in a band. And when it could happen, it was incredible. I just was so... Even now, I still, it's a privilege. Because I know I'm loving, I'm loving my dream. And my family, who have, who have came through the whole thing, saw me in a band. Aura, when she was 16 years old, she was jumping about. She was in the first, the front queue of the Barlands. She was... Uh, I can remember playing a song at the Barlands and all I had her feet against the barrier with all these guys be behind and it was like a, it was incredible because in those days the Barlands was the best concert you could ever play in the world so we did all, all those things and then after a while obviously uh, when you don't have a big record company behind you pushing the songs you've got you find another way of doing it and that happens to most bands now you know and record companies are a lot less powerful now than they were before. But music goes on, and bands go on, and people want to hear music, and live music becomes more important. Uh, and it's all about, you know, if you're good live, we became very good live and we knew how to do it. Uh, because I had gone through the punk years, and I had gone through years after that, and then when I formed the uh, Silencers, we had a lot of years on the road. You just get experienced about knowing how to put the concert over. But also the main thing is you're sincere about your music. And when you're sincere about it and it's coming from the heart, the audience pick up on it. And they give you it back. And the more they give you it back, the more you give. And it's a reciprocal thing. Well, the thing is, I, I, I'm doing... Uh, different projects. I'm doing I'm doing one project project in Brittany, which is is really taken off very quickly, and it's going to be really big. It's called the Celtic Social Club. So you can call it, and if you want to call it a Celtic Social Club, you can. Uh, but it's it's really really good. It's taking traditional music, uh, and it wasn't me that made up the name. It was a uh, the the guy that put the project together because you've had the 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 Buena, Zera, the Buena Vista Social Club, and then you had the New Orleans Social Club. So he decided, I'm going to put a, an act together called the Celtic Social Club, and then me and him put the music together. And it, it's really, I'm quite, I think it's brilliant. I, well, the thing is, the, the silences were very big in France. France was our biggest country. We were huge in France. Uh, we were huge in a lot of countries. We were number one in Spain and big in Germany and also uh, the first album sold a lot in the United States. My silences are my first love and silences is what my band is and uh, I've got, as I said before, I've written three albums worth of material. I need to record some new songs and I've got some amazing new songs.